Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone feeling well, that everyone are uh, connected to themselves with peace. This is uh, the main struggle of every person to learn how to how to connect to his inner voice, to his deep understanding of who he is. And those are not high divine concepts. Those are simple levels of self-awareness that if, for an example, you don't feel like doing something or work in a certain job, so you're gonna try to listen to your heart and to go and start something else elsewhere try to do something that will fit more to your skills, to your abilities. Many of us are suffering from such a low self-esteem, so such a broken um, mindset about who we are that we're not even able to allow ourselves to think in a positive way on how to cooperate with our inner feelings, with our senses, with our inner voice that is screaming sometimes from within no you hate it you don't want to do that we ignore those feelings i know that for an example like the there was and and this is a simple example of how how a person can be not tuned to to himself that um like something simple in the house i remember that my wife, she asked me something about a certain food in the kitchen. She tried to, to bake something and she asked me about margarine, if I can taste it or something. And I tasted it and I, to me, it felt like it was a little bit salty, but I didn't pay attention to that thought, to that feeling. I didn't allow myself to say it was a little bit salty, the margarine itself. and. She asked me if the flavor is good, and I said, yes, it's good. But when I put it into my mouth, I, I, I sensed that the flavor was a little bit salty. I just didn't listen to my voice that was just letting me know that it's a little bit salty. And then I answered to her, yes, it's fine, it's good. She didn't ask me if it was salty. She asked me if it was good. She meant to ask if it was salty, but if I would listen to myself, because I recognized that flavor alone, on my own, when I tasted it. But because that we're used to not listening to our voices, to our simple voice, to the inner voice that is talking to us all the time from within and telling us, you feel good about it, you don't feel good about it, you feel right about it, you don't feel right about it. Because I ignored it, I didn't mention it to her. And then when she used it, it caused her sorrow. Because then the flavor was too salty, the, it was not sweet enough, the thing that she, cookies or a cake or whatever, I don't remember now what she tried to bake. But if I would listen to myself and just allowing myself to express my simple voice, my simple inner sense, that recognized and caught that margarine salty flavor, I would prevent that sorrow from her and she would come to a solution. But many times it's hard for us to believe in ourselves and to listen and to be tuned to the voice of our soul that is so intelligent and so delicate and so beautiful and so wise and such a blessing in our lives and we ignore it. We just kick it and push it to the side and it's coming only because that we are too bothered and too pressured and too uh, downgrading ourselves too much and disrespect ourselves and ignore ourselves and we used to not listen to who we are, to the inner thoughts. You feel like hearing a certain music, maybe if you're going to put it and allow yourself to play that song, it will affect all your day in a positive way. Maybe if you're gonna, yes, eat that fruit, yes, grab that vegetable, yes, drive to that place, you will take your life to those destinies and places that your soul really needs because your soul is talking to you from within. Your soul is calling you. And on that, the verse is saying, 
that Hashem is telling us, Lecha Amar Libi Bakshu Panay Tamid. Your heart is a messenger in my hand to tell you, look for me always, Hashem is saying. The Creator is telling us, I use your heart as a speaker, as a, as a, as a microphone, to let you know what I want you to do for you to come closer to me. And those are simple guidings that will relate to your life, that will answer your needs, that will supply all your all all the things that you that that you desire, that will bring you to your own comfort, because you will enjoy listen to your inner voice because it's talking to you in your own language, and it's bringing up the goodness of creation and it's warning you from the badness, from the darkness, from the ugly things of creation. If there is a, a, a person that you feel that you don't want to talk to, listen to it. Why don't you want to talk to him? What are the feelings that he's causing you? How your spirit is being traumatized by him, being hurt by him? And those are simple things. And this is why the world is in such a mess and chaos and 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 domestic issues because people are disconnected from themselves people are just live externally oh no i need to work i need to make money yeah i know you need to make money okay i understand you need to work but listen maybe there's something else you can do maybe if today you thought about making a phone call that phone call would lead you to a greater success maybe if today you would be brave to take yourself I need quiet. I feel like I need to be alone. Okay, don't get panic. Don't get into pressure and stress and anxieties. Go take yourself for 10 minutes and walk outside in your front yard or in the street and breathe and talk to Hashem and talk to yourself and ask yourself why those situations are so pressuring me. Why am I going through so much mess? Why is it so hard for me? And you will relax. Because if you need those five, ten minutes to be alone and you're going to grab them, they will heal you. But if you're going to keep on ignoring that need, it will become chaotic. It will become horrible. It will hurt the person and will damage his inner balance. And we don't want that. We have enough enemies out there, out there outside that are threatening us. We cannot be the enemy of ourselves as well. We need to be our own best friends and to build peace between our bones in our own structure to create balance in our spirit and in our soul. And for that you need to allow yourself to be who you are. You want people to allow you to be who you are when you yourself don't let yourself be who you are. To be who you are it's not to go radical with your madness. To be who you are is to look and to seek for the simple inner quiet and mind settled way of thinking to build yourself step by step to come back to the roots of your soul to listen to the nature of your spirit to the nature of your creation of who you are and to allow yourself to be that beautiful creation that the Creator made you to be and to enjoy the qualities and the talents that you've been gifted with and the Creator, He loves us all. You must understand that. He's the Father of mercy, even if you cannot see it. And you are the beautiful child of Him, even if you cannot see that. And the darkness is the separation, is the exile, is the evil inclination, is the Yetzera that is blocking us from our source, from who we really are, the children, the blessed ones, the chosen ones of the Creator that are here to reveal His light that shines from within our own bodies, our own souls. So allow yourself to be great. Allow yourself to connect yourself through the channels that have been given to you to connect yourself through. If it's music, it might be jazz music, it might be rock and pop and trance and dance and house and, and, and classic music. It might be music from the 60s, from the 80s, from the 90s from from 220 you need to believe in yourself and to be happy you need to be happy with who you are and to allow yourself to be 
the wonderful person that the Creator made you to be. With your life experience and with your amazing, amazing wisdom and with your sensitivity to certain things, there are reasons why you've been blessed with those things. There's a reason why you learned when you were 14 years old to play the guitar. There is a purpose for it. There's a reason why you learn to play basketball, why you like to, to dance, why you like to listen to, to old music. There's a reason for that. There's a purpose. If there wouldn't be a purpose, the Creator wouldn't create that. There is a deep meaning and reason and purpose for every particle of creation. And especially to things that concerns you. That you are a precious soul. You are a child of the Divine and Godly One. You still don't know who you are. I see that. But it's time. It's about time that you will hold yourself together and allow yourself to reveal the goodness of your soul. And if you ask yourself, who am I? You are the good parts that are inside of you. And what is your mission in life? To avoid all the bad parts that are holding you back from being the good one that you are. Got it? It's simple. Good luck.